This is our custom truck shop. In this shop, we build custom trucks and resell them. Business has been a little tight recently, so uh, we need to get some more custom trucks to sell. Because the more quality inventory we have, the more likely we are to sell it. Watch out, dog! Woo! That was close, buddy. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Oh, yeah. Just gonna flex it right onto my fence. Perfect. We'll leave that right there, and uh, I think it's time to run into town. What do you say? So we're gonna hop in the old semi and fire it up. First things first, I bought us a new trailer. Now, now, we're going to keep this trailer, but it's not quite the trailer we need for larger hauls. So, gee, dog, you're going to get hurt if you're not careful, bud. So let's run into town and pick up our new trailer. So I think our goal today is going to be to build out a mudding kit. That's going to be a truck and maybe a trailer and an ATV, you know, the whole works. That way we can just sell the truck as a kit and we can make even more money. So we've got our big fancy new trailer here and we're going to just run on down to a dealer ship here in town and see if they happen to have anything around. Usually they call me when they got something good, so I'm guessing there won't be anything, but it doesn't hurt to uh, to check. Excuse me, y'all got any of them fancy trucks? Or... Now, looks pretty stock there. All right. Guess they're not going to have anything. Well, that's fine. We'll just pull down here and turn ourselves around, eh? Well, I'm kind of getting lost here. Oh. Oh, hold on. This guy's got a nice car in his driveway. All right. Oh, slight detour. We'll resume our plans momentarily. All right. All right, we're going to run back up here and see if uh, I can take a look at that car. But I have got to make some phone calls before we do that. So we know where to go. Ah, uh, here we go. The best place to find the locals and uh, chat them up and somehow figure out where, you know, the neat things are to buy. It's Casey's. You walk in here, get yourself a coffee, sit at the table, and all the locals will come on in and start chatting your ear off. So we're going to do that for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll see if we get any leads. Boy, that was well worth it. Not only did I get coffee, but we also got a couple leads. So first of all, there is apparently a really cool truck and even like an ATV and stuff south of town that a guy might be willing to sell. And secondly, I got contact info for the guy who owns that really nice car. So we're going to give him a call on our way down there and see if he might even be like willing to let us look at that car. I know I can't really resell that car because it's not what we do at our business, but it's neat and I want it. All right, this should be the place right up here to the right. So let's go ahead and talk to the guy who lives here and see if he would be willing to let us check out his truck today. I just got done talking with him. He said that the keys are in it and we can just go check it out. And he said it's right down by the other barn here. So let's go see what it is. Well, I see a planner and an ATV and a, and a what is this? A Can-Am, but I don't see a truck. Where's the truck at? Well, it's not in the barn. It's not around back either. Hmm. Well, I mean, either way, we'll, we'll check out these, I guess, huh? Go and fire it up and see how it runs. Oh, it started right up. Let's take it for a spin down the gravel road real quick, eh? Well, that's not too bad. I mean, shoot, we're going 65. Now we're going 70 down gravel. This is definitely safe, boys. Definitely safe. 10 out of 10 would recommend again. All right, we better slow down here. But hey, this thing's pretty nice. I think we could definitely throw it into the package. I mean, it's got tires on it that are pretty big. She's got some power. It's in good shape. Looks like the lights work up front. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Let's pull this thing up here and check out the ATV now. All right, little ATV, don't you, uh, don't you do me wrong. Here we go. Oh, actually, I think I like this more. It feels a little bit more sketch going down the road on it, but uh, it's definitely fast. Make that 75 miles an hour down gravel on an ATV and we don't have a helmet on. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, 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 okay. That's going to be a concussion. Guys, I don't have health insurance. Nah, we're fine. I've got a, my beanie is actually a hard hat. OSHA certified, really. Well, aside from rolling it a couple thousand times there, I really do like this. I think we're gonna try and buy it too. But I gotta ask the guy where the heck his truck is at. Oh, yeah. into the fence. Wait, land it, land it, land it, land it. Nailed it. Hey, fella, where'd you go? Where's your truck at, bud? Oh, you say it's around uh, over in the Burksville at the shop there. Oh, you sent her on over to Timmy's. I can, I, can I go over there and take a look at her then? Okay, we're gonna go and look. Apparently, it's in Burksville. So, let's get on down the road. On this episode of Jake Drives Around the County Looking for One Truck, will he find it? Tune in next time. All right, we're pulling into Burksville. You know, I heard that they're, uh, they were testing one of those fancy Tesla semis out here the other day. I saw a YouTube video on it. Cough, cough. But old Timmy's place ought to be right up around the corner here. Ah, yeah, Mike's Garage. His, his nickname is Mike. Was that truck just as big as I thought it was? Oh my goodness. 
fellas. Now, th that's definitely a lifted truck. I mean, I'm 6'1 or so, maybe 6'2, I don't know for sure. And uh, the fact that my head comes to the almost middle of the bumper is concerning. Well, when in doubt, hop on up and see how it runs, eh? Ooh, clean interior. I'll go with perp perps. Okay, whatever. English is hard, but you know what's not hard? Starting an engine. Boom, look at that. Holy cow, it's got some rumble and grumble, doesn't it? All right, truck, let's see what you got, shall we? Apparently, this guy really liked red. Ooh, ooh, she not bad. She got a good suspension on her. Sounds good, shifting through all six gears there. Running, oh, that was a green light, we're fine. All right, let's see how it handles the train tracks. It's gonna get a little bumpy now. Here we go. Oh, yep, a little bumpy indeed. All right, I suck and I missed the train track technically, so let's try that again. See, that's not too bad. When driven responsibly, that is. The truck is uh, not really that fast. It goes 68. But to be honest, in a big lifted truck like this, I don't know if I'd ever want to go faster than that. Hey, this truck runs pretty darn smooth. I think we're going to go ahead and buy it. He said it was done at the shop. He just hadn't picked it up yet. So I'll tell you what, I'll pick it up here and I'll, uh, I'll charge him a delivery fee. And then afterwards, I'll buy it. Look at that. See, it makes double money let's go well let's just load this thing up Ooh, what a nice turn onto the truck here and we'll get back over to that guy's place all right we got it loaded up now we're gonna get back to the guy's place and let him know that i'm gonna buy the uh the truck and both his atp and can-am you know what since we're so close to my place i'm just gonna take this up there i'm gonna give him a call let him know that i'll be back down there to pick up the rest of it and write him a check all right we got the truck unloaded and while we head back down to pay for the can-am and the atv and pick those up as well we're gonna just stop in and check out that old car well we made it here but boy i gotta say this truck and trailer were not designed to go down city streets but here it is. The guy said that this is a Nissan Fairlady Z. We've already gotten the keys from him. Let's hop in. And a uh, fantastic interior for sure. All right, but you don't buy this car for the inside. You buy it for this. Oh, yeah. Woo! Listen to that thing. Oh, boys. We're going we're gonna to take a little detour. We got to drive this. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Marry me. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, man. I'm gonna... I'm enjoying this car too much. I don't know if you guys know this, but the Nissan 3... The, the Z series of car from Nissan, like the 350, the 370, and so on, they are some of my favorite cars. So I am loving this. All right, here we go. Let's do... It's so, so good. All right, come on. Woo! I can't drive this thing, bro. I'm literally barely on the throttle and I'm losing it. All right, come on. On the throttle just a little bit. Just barely. God, Lord! We're going 130 and 140 and 150 and I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't pass at 150, bro. All right, let's start over again. Here we go. All right, we're back up at 150 now. We're going 160 and we're going 170. This car has no right being this fast, bro. 175. We're going 175. I'm going to start slowing down. Holy cow. Oh, I need this thing. Hold on. Can we test the zero to 60 real quick? Hold on. We don't have that much road left ahead of us, but I'm sure that it'll be enough. Here we go. Three, two, one, punch it. And a little start slow off the line, actually. And 60. Holy cow. Okay. It, it got to a point where it just was like, okay, here's... Oh, I see. It's the gear. It didn't like that. Once we got into that one gear there, it really liked it. Okay. Yeah, that's what's going on. It's a gearing issue, but then it takes off. I see. So you got to get it past that gear. So essentially, the transmission probably needs a little bit of work on this thing. So let's do it rolling. Let's start out rolling it at 15, and then we'll just... Hold on. So it'd be 75 we got to hit, if my math is right there. All right, here we go. And three, two, one punch it and 60 oh i was even too slow to say it yep it's official i'm gonna buy this car y'all it's mine now i never knew i needed something this bad but i love this thing don't wreck it don't wreck it don't wreck it Whew. oh ugh. we're good everything's fine you can lose this thing if you start to accelerate while you have your wheel turned a little bit like you get fast past that yeah right that right there and then you have your wheel turned you'll you'll just lose it man all right we got a lot of checks to write today i'm buying this car and we still got to go pick up the atv in can-am all right cars loaded up and the lights were left on because i'm an idiot but let's get down there and get the last couple things we got to pick up hey eh? all right we're all loaded up we're gonna get this back up to our place so until next time i'll see y'all later Peace.